The play sound until done block won't move to the next block until the entire sound has finished playing, whether it's short or long. The start sound block will start the sound at the same time it runs the block underneath it, so you can use this to run multiple sounds or actions at the same time. The stop all sounds block does what it says, but if you start the sound again, it'll start from the beginning rather than resuming as if it was paused. There's a way to pause sounds, but I talk about that in another video in my scratch playlist. You can make a sound higher and lower using the change and set pitch blocks. A negative number will slow down and lower the pitch. A positive number will speed up and raise the pitch of the sound. Setting panning to negative 100 sends all the sound to the left speakers only. Setting it to positive 100 sends all the sounds to the right. And setting the panning to zero allows you to hear the sound in both speakers. The clear sound effects block is like setting the pitch and panning effects to zero, but it only uses one block instead of two. The volume blocks can set or change the volume to softer or louder. You can even use the volume as a variable. For example, to change the size of the character to the volume of the music. You can also customize sounds or add in music blocks that are hidden in Scratch. But I talk about those features in another video. So check out my playlist for even more scratch tips or to learn how to teach computer science.